This morning, new questions about the future of fertility treatments after Alabama's Supreme Court ruled that frozen embryos are children. The decision reverses a lower court's ruling in a case brought by a couple who sued a fertility clinic for wrongful death after someone dropped their frozen embryos on the floor, destroying them. The court cited Alabama's constitution in its ruling, saying even before birth, all human beings bear the image of God and their lives cannot be destroyed without effacing his glory. It could effectively end IVF in the entire state of Alabama. With treatments like in vitro fertilization, several eggs are fertilized outside the body before being implanted into a patient's uterus. There's mostly concern, um, there's worry, there's some anger. Um, as patients and physicians want to be able to make these decisions together collaboratively and not have these decisions made for us and without our input. Alabama State Medical Association warning the increased risk of legal exposure might result in Alabama's fertility clinics shutting down. The issue is already on the radar of federal lawmakers. Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth and Pennsylvania Congresswoman Susan Wild have introduced a bill called the Access to Family Building Act. It would establish IVF and other fertility treatments as a right for patients and doctors. Everyone deserves access to the full range of assisted reproductive technologies to help them start or grow their families, including treatments like in vitro fertilization 42% of adults in the U.S. say they've used fertility treatments or know someone who has. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.